All right, guys, just started a business and got the Clover Pro set, the restaurant one, which you can add a label printer very specifically. I opened a bubble tea store, so we wanted labels to print out for the drinks when we put it on the cup. So what I learned is that there are no videos online on how to set up the label printer, the Epson label printer with the Clover system. So first, when you receive this out the box, it doesn't come with any wires other than the power cord. So you're just gonna rip off the back. I'm struggling to open that, but it just pops out. You're gonna need a USB-C A, which is like a square brick to USB, because it has to attach to the Clover hub. And it comes with label printer, but it's really big. It's like a three by three. That's what comes with the Epson printer. I guess it's made for like delis, but that for your clover system, it actually tells you that that is the incorrect label size. So you're gonna need to buy labels. So before you set up, you should probably buy it. It's the three by one and a half. Once you, once you finally set it up and plug it in and you buy the correct label size, I had a call in and they were saying you need a separate app, but you don't need that. You can do it all from your Clover system. You would just go into setup and then it's under order and sticky labels. So from here, this is where you would adjust the settings. You can play with it to see how it comes out and what goes on the printer. So once everything is plugged in, you purchase the correct cord and the correct label size. Once you plug it in, you go into printers and you can hit the plus sign to add a printer. So once you buy the correct cord, it'll plug into the label printer and then you plug it into the hub. So they have USB for two sides, but it doesn't really matter which one, as long as it's plugged in correctly. Okay, I hope this helps everyone out. If anyone else is having the same issues I had with the Clover system and the Epson label printer, so you had to buy the cord beforehand, USB-C A to USB, and the correct label size. All right, I hope if you guys have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below.